Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to another Eden Run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. Well, it's not quite a like streak streak yet, but we're getting very close on a couple of videos. So definitely go check them out if you want to support the channel. And thank you, everyone, who does uh, go out your way to leave comments, respond to the questions of the day, leave a like, all that stuff. It is a huge, huge help. And I really do truly appreciate it, especially... When uh, people go out of their way to do stuff like this, sent in here by Velaz. Title thread was simply Win Victa. Very awesome rendition of this Invicta logo. I do love how this, every, I mean, everything like came together. Like you could put this on like a poster and it would just look metal as all get out. So thank you very much, Velaz, and everyone who uploaded that on this Invicta subreddit. It's been a little bit lighter on the memes lately uh, over on slash r slash Invicta. So definitely go check it out if you'd like to. Uh, make some art or just make some memes. CJ is going to be Mike, Charlie, Tango, Charlie, uh, Alpha, Juliet, Whiskey, Charlie. We've got, uh, well, we got Toxic Shock, the D-Twizzle. Okay, I'm down I'm down with the D-12. Terrible shots. Well, uh, it's okay shot speed, I guess. But obviously the big news here is going to be Toxic Shock because it's going to do a lot of AoE damage uh, when we first enter into a room. And, of course, I love the D-12. Ooh, man, especially when we see rooms like this. The D12 is going to re-roll all rocks, and check this out here. We've we've already had many, many, many episodes talking about how much value there is baked into the D12. And look at this. We get ourselves a tinted rock right next to a barrel. I mean, that was that was a free tinted rock. I, I mean, we can't open it, but, you know, it's, yeah, you know. Um, would love to be able to maybe get a soul heart out of this. That would be nice. I'm not going to use a bomb uh, for any of these fires here. Ooh. That would also be kind of nice, too, if we could get uh, more options. That would give us a double item pedestal guaranteed in every single item room that we find. So very good start here, I would say. Love the D12, man. The D12 just gives you so much added, uh, just so much added value and just, like, possibilities. We talked about that a lot in Isaac, talking about giving you the most possibilities for value, the most possibilities to win. And, uh, you know, the D12 is one of those avenues that you can definitely draw upon. Man, oh, man, we are smoking everything right now with Toxic Shock. Above average damage as well. That is a good, good, good way to steamroll through the first couple of levels here before it starts getting a little bit more tough. But if we do end up getting some damage upgrades, then things will just remain pretty easy because that's just how Toxic Shock works, baby. Two Soul Hearts there. Also get Halitosis, which... Eh. Now, you might be wondering, hang on now a second. Hang on there, buddy. How come you're not going to be taking them there soul hearts? Uh, well, Cletus, it's because basically we're waiting for the next room. Um, also, we made this room entirely 1 billion percent more dangerous uh, than it was thanks to the D12. So, you know, it doesn't work out all the time with the D12. You also may notice there, every time we get a kill, it's going to leave a little bit of a creep uh, puddle down below all the uh, dead mobs and that is also a good way to cause damage to enemies so keep that in mind as uh we do have one key i am gonna go check well let's go fight the boss first let's go fight the boss we don't know where the secret room is it could be south of the room with the soul hearts i gotta go see where everything spawned it's gonna be haunt we only have two bombs and i'm definitely tempted to use these bombs against haunt but i don't want to yet now, we don't really care if we take damage against Haunt that much because we have all those uh, red hearts in the super secret room. Doesn't mean that we want to, like, you know, take, like, lethal damage here. But I am going to use... Well, never mind. I thought for some odd reason I, I looked up at the D12 and thought that I had a full charge. I did not. I'm going to let Halitosis actually do a little bit of poison damage. When was the last time you saw that? Well, I didn't mean to do that, but... When was the last time you saw Halitosis do any damage to anything? Like, I was trying to be smart here, Haunt. I was trying to get the pot over here along with killing you, and then you just had to do that. Yeah, running into Haunt is, uh... The, I mean, it's not Halitosis' fault, but, like, it would be nice if Halitosis actually did have a little bit of a greater range. Like, if range upgrades actually, like, affected Halitosis', uh, like, effect range, that'd be cool. So you see that bigger creep pile there from, uh, from Haunt. We are going to get... Couple extra keys and a soul heart, of course. We're gonna refill our red hearts. No big deal. No damage done, really. Uh, but the bigger news is here is to find the secret room. We know it can't be there. It's it's got to be here. That's the only place that it makes. Well, I guess it could be in the elbow. Uh, yeah. Th this is this is more. Ooh, hang on now. Hang on now. Well, oh man, giving up the D12 for. 
for a forget me now though man that is tough because yes we do get a single f we do get a floor but like i don't know man i don't know post your thoughts in the comments early on here for those of you who don't skip ahead to find out if we win or lose Post them in the comments. Do we take the... Do we take Forget Me Now or not? That's a tough, tough call, man. Oh, wow. There's another secret. There's another Tinted Rock right here. I just now noticed that. That we found that. <laughs> okay. If that didn't just convince you which one was the correct choice, I don't know what will. Wow. The D12 just took the choice right out of our hands and say you know what fam i got you bro how about you just take both of us and just do the do the first floor again and you know what d12 i'm gonna take you up on that offer because wow i mean what an absolutely incredible turn of events there I'll tab for a second because Coach Crendor messaged me. Like, <laughs> the D12 literally was like, no, like, like you got a problem? Like, no problem. I got you, bro. Like, just give me a second. <laughs> I cannot believe that we got school back from that. It's probably not. Uh, did I say D10? I meant D12. I said D10. Uh, it's probably not wise to use the D12 in here, but I'm going to anyway. The reason why it's not really that wise is because, like, yeah. And I know that we didn't go into the super secret room on the last floor to get those hearts. Didn't really matter anyway. Uh, I am so kind of mad that I lost uh, soul hearts to walking over those spikes, but they love me. The rosary, which is going to give us a tears up and more importantly, give us a whole butt ton of uh, soul hearts. Again, on floor one, this is like one heck of a go. <laughs> okay, D12. I'm once again asking for your support. I'm once again asking for your support. Are we going to get a double charge off of this? No, okay. Um, I wish I could push this barrel into the shop. How cool would that be? Don't you ever shoot at me again. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm very, very, very carefully. These spikes are... The red poop will also destroy the barrel, by the way. So I'm taking this barrel, the pushable barrel here, and moving towards the fool's gold rock so we can maybe get the money. Because obviously keeper sack is the play here. Yeah, you know, four cents, I'm gonna take it. Okay, all right. All right, we only need nine cents now. It's gonna be a little bit, a little bit uh, of, a, of a stretch goal. Um, I don't think the D12 rerolls the steel blocks, but I could be wrong about that. We just get a library. Now, if we get a if we get the Bible in here, that's uh, it's very possible we get the Bible actually because we have the rosary. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude, what is going on with this run? I mean, like we're not gaining a whole lot of stuff right now out of this, but the fact that like we're getting everything that we need and then some in this run is absolutely astounding to me. And I think what we should do is we, we should take this full charge and just re-roll that room now because we have the Bible anyway. So in case if we don't roll, if we don't re-roll the steel, um, the steel blocks here, we can still fly over and get there. Although I should probably do this after I, after I travel, but let's get this stuff first because we're probably going to roll into a bunch of fires and stuff now. So yeah, we do that and then we will, I'll fight my way out from this side. How about that? It does re-roll the steel blocks. Okay. Made a huge mistake. There we go. Okay. Counterfeit penny would be nice if we could find it. Petrified poop. There we go on that. Dude, the D... I I'm telling you, man. The D12 is just... It is just top tier. I know that I rant and rave about the, D the D12 every time we find it, but like, seriously, did you not see what just happened? I, we're, I mean, technically, obviously we're still on the first floor, but like, good Lord, man. How much more value do you could you possibly want? We could have even bombed our way into the secret room, which I'm going to do anyway. And we got, we 
You got to keep her sack, and there's a nickel in there as well. I, I mean, all of this was the direct result of the D12. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Top tier item. We're going to get ourselves an extra soul heart, and we're going to get some stats, which gave us a 0.93 damage up because why not? And that's going to feed into us getting more damage from Toxic Shock, making the early game easier. I know that we're already eight, almost nine minutes into this run, and we haven't even gotten past floor one yet, but I, it's, it's just so good. It is just so good. We even get ourselves Soul the Keeper. <laughs> yeah, we got Burkano. There's a Soul of Isaac, which we could use for a reroll uh, on the Devil deal. Oh, I forgot to guess how much, how many, uh, I forgot to guess how many, how many uh, pennies we were going to get there. My bad. Can actually hit this barrel if we shoot in the crack it's a little bit difficult to do but once you learn the technique it's absolutely 100 worth practicing get bombs anyway man oh man what a start this may not be like the most exciting start in terms of like in terms of progression for stats and whatnot but this is one of the coolest starts that we've ever had just because of the series of events that have occurred that led to get to get us to the spot. Truly one of the most satisfying starts I've ever seen to any to any run. Truly. Um, I can't I can't leave this floor without at least going into uh, the curse room. We can get into it for half price, so it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna use, and when I say half price, I mean we're gonna use the Bible now, uh, which will allow us to fly over. Oh, now it's not half price anymore, but that's that, that's just the that's the that, that's a niceness tax. So we leave floor one with all the items that you see on the right here, including a forget me now. Wow, what an incredible start that is! It's so magical. Again, like, I, I don't believe that I've seen a start that was more exciting to me with very little stat changes. And that kind of thing really does kind of say a lot for just how, I, could, I guess I could have used the Soul of Isaac there, just how, how much fun the D12 is. Get basically free entry in there. I mean, it's not too bad that we took uh, Blue Baby's only friend, obviously. I'm going to roll that in case there's something explodable that we need. And we get ourselves a crawl space, because hell, why not? Um, Blue Baby's only friend can contribute to Beelzebub, or it does contribute to Beelzebub, so I'm fine with that. Again, could use the Soul of Isaac here. I'm not going to. There's no way for me to, unfortunately, get uh, Loki's horns. Seek room is going to be here. I could have saved myself a bomb, but I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Plus, like we, uh, we're, we're, we're set on, we're set on things. Go. So down goes. Like uh, again, you're seeing, you're seeing how strong Toxic Shot can be, even with basic damage upgrades. Now, I'm not going to lie. We're probably not going to make boss rush. Um, Probably not, because I'm going to do a lot of, definitely a lot of exploration and, and faffing about with the, with the D12, because it's just worth it. Like, there's no reason to, to just fly through it, um, especially considering that the D12 can directly lead to more items for you. What I'm trying to say is that there's no reason for us to, to try to race ahead and, and get boss rush on a run like this when we can just take our time, try to get maximum value out of the D12 and just absolutely smash the game. Everything is coming up no house here. We get ourselves an HP upgrade. I have a Lyle. I'm going to use the Soul of Isaac now. We get contract from below as well. Oh, man. We are pumping. We are pumping it up. It doesn't reroll the broken poops right now. You only have to dodge the pink fires once. 
per room, but it will re it, I mean it will reset if you leave and come back. So we get Eye of Belial easily. Obviously, we're gonna be trying to utilize the shops as much as we can because of Keeper Sack. Super Secret Room should be right there. No. I guess I should have known because that template's a little bit sus whenever you see it like this, but it's but you've already found the secret room, the regular secret room. Because that normally that tile is reserved for regular secret room, so I should have known that it wasn't there. Plus it's in a weird spot on the on the level too, so yeah, that was doubly my bad. I'm gonna buy mom's coin purse, not because I plan on taking anything, but just because I just want the stats. And as you see right there, we get so much more damage here. Probably didn't need to destroy the uh the donation machine but i did anyway just because again i'm trying to maximize the amount of stats we can get here early on to really pump up the damage and the clear speed with toxic shock so we go up to 7.48 damage after two floors and uh we've got eye of Belial, we've got contract from below we got keeper sack i mean what else could you want on a run like this this is just a beautiful start great way to, to kick off the midweek here in the mosh pit and uh whew, Man, we are on fire. There's a loss. Who cares? Now you could definitely going on going back to that second that second first floor. <laughs> the weird thing to say that second first floor library. You know, should we have taken the Book of Shadows? It is. It's probable that we should have taken the book of shadows over the bible because we probably won't need the free mom kills um but with the d12 you know i think that having flying until until we get flying will be nice because you do have those rooms like that like that one steel room and stuff or like rooms like this where you just don't feel like doing anything i'm not saying that the bible is a top tier item at all but it is kind of nice to have every now and then and i didn't really see or you can have a room like this i didn't really see the extra added value that we need need needed out of the Book of Shadows. So it was a halfway conscious decision and halfway unconscious decision to not take the Book of Shadows there. Uh, and if I had to do it all over again, I probably would. But again, it is kind of nice to have flying whenever you need it. It's also kind of nice to be able to just not have to worry about the mom fight at all or the mom's heart fight in case we're running low on HP or we just can't afford to take damage. This run has been so hot. I haven't even talked about last week's question of the episode, uh, which was on uh, last Wednesday, of course. And I asked people, what is your opinion on card reading? What is your take on card reading? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Lots of people weighing in on this one because obviously it's a little bit of a contentious item when it comes to my videos. Some people, some people obviously really enjoy the fact that you can you, from a strategical uh, standpoint you can go straight to the boss like i do um some other people just because it kind of ruins not ruins but it, it it puts a little bit of a downturn on their viewing experience because they would rather have the longer videos and i understand that too but i wanted to gauge officially gauge the mosh pit overall on on their thoughts and uh you know a lot, again a lot of people really chiming in there the most upvoted comment from last week was from ronnie J. I i mean ronnie J is on a streak of just being the most upvoted commenter uh, in the mosh pit for now like he's he's or that i should say they have uh definitely gotten a uh, a head start on on how many times they've been picked uh for these uh these week these not weekly but daily questions ronnie said love being able to skip annoying floors wish it worked on the victory lap and what what ronnie's talking about is obviously the fact that the that it is there's a a current and ongoing and probably permanent bug at this point in the game uh whereas it, obviously if you go <coughs> in a victory lap but you have a card reading it doesn't actually work the portals are sitting there and spinning on the floor but they're just fake they're just fake they're they're just pretend that they're not even there because it doesn't matter um, so yeah, definitely agree with you on that. But I, of course, I really, really enjoy card reading just because it allows you to skip all the annoying floors. Unless you get like Curse of the Blind, unless you get uh, Curse of the Lost, for example, or Curse of the Unknown. You just, it, it, you know, there's a, there's a certain level of strategic value being able to just go straight to the boss. And I try to demonstrate that every time we get it. Um, and it does, it does also give me a little bit of comfort knowing that like, hey, you know what? I don't have to worry about these annoying floors, especially, especially on a victory lap. Now, early on, obviously you don't, re you don't really want to be skipping all of those, um, all those floors. 
I mean, I guess box of spiders, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the crooked penny. So we need to go back and get starter deck too. So it's it's gonna be a long it's it's gonna be a long episode. I don't know if we're gonna do a victory lap on this episode. Um, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, you know, I tried to I try to show the best of my abilities. You know what my overall take is on items and how you can use them different in different situations. And basically, like, show the good and the bad, mostly bad, because let's be honest, it's easy to criticize Isaac uh, in in lots of uh, situations. Not a perfect game by any means, so. Absolutely would have used a bomb for this. So, oh, Magician, what is this over here? We don't know what this is. And we see, oh, hey, it's a reverse High Priestess, and I would immediately drop it because I don't want to accidentally use it. So yeah, so definitely 100% with you there, Ronnie. Thank you again for your comments and uh, participation in the daily discussion. Uh, the next most upvoted was from uh, Austin. I'm going to say Austin Fadert, maybe Fightert, uh, uh, 6532. They said it's a worse version of having blank card and Emperor slash Moon slash Stars card. This one I kind of disagree with because... Like, yes, if you had blank card, Emperor, you know, the, those cards that they listed, technically, I mean, if you want to think of it that way, you could. But you have to remember that this is the nerfed blank card. So all the all the the charges have not been normalized across the board when it comes to those three cards. It's different. And on top of that, you also don't really get options, unless if you have starter deck or something like that. Um, you don't have the options. Oh, man, this is a tough choice. I, I think we got to go with Thame here. I would love to get a Tears up from uh from Ouija board but now it doesn't matter anyway that's see that's another reason why I wish we had flying there so but yeah that's that's the that is the, that is something that I, I understand what they're trying to get at um, I just don't agree with the statement on the on the whole, mainly just because it's not really the same. It's not really a fair comparison to say that it's. To me, it's apples and oranges. Let, let's let's put it that way. Um, being able to have the choice of which portal I want to go to is really nice, and it's free. Um, <laughs> you know, you you don't have to you don't have to time like you know oh the charges or you don't have to time. The, you know, well, we could, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe use our Emperor card now or, you know, we can wait. You're, you're never really put in a situation where you're forced to use card reading, I guess. But at the same time, like, yeah, we're getting a lot of good use out of the Bible. At the same time, I would much rather have card reading than blank card. It, it requires less maintenance, requires no maintenance. It's just a passive item. I don't have to worry about charges. I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, about where you know which cards I have and and trying to balance that stuff it, it's just a in my opinion it's a better version so agree to disagree and lastly but not leastly the uh, third most upvoted comment on last week's episode was from havoc pineapple 9505 great name by the way uh, which uh, they said portals are portals are the finest game mechanics very consistently um, I think what they are talking about is the consistency of of like being able to go I, I that one was that one I was watching the shot and also watching little Chad and then I lost it it, it got lost in little Chad sauce I'm almost tempted to go into the mob trap room here yeah we got a death card uh yeah Bible really showing uh versatility here I'm gonna go tough love we do have a pretty good amount of luck and also kind of working into that decision is the fact that we have keeper sack keeper sack loves to give luck upgrades so I'm down with it and one more scent would give us a soul heart and uh, red stew and I'm gonna take both of these here so let's see if let's see if our movement speed goes up at all Okay, we got a little bit of movement speed. Just, and that's it. We just got movement speed. So we have red stew. This is going to help supercharge even more uh, the value of toxic shock. Because obviously it's it goes based off of our base damage. And since that's being uh, ramped up heavily right now by uh, 
by a red stew, it's just going to deal so much more automatic damage than we could ever hope for. We do get the screw, which is going to be a nice and much needed tears up. Going to go back here, use the Bible again. Bible, really just showing us stuff. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Figured that was going to happen. Um, Silver dollar with Keeper Sack is pretty pog. I'm going to roll this. See what we'll get. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, Silver dollar with with, with Keeper Sack is really good. We're not setting any land speed records here with this run, but, you know, doing doing the first floor twice and taking almost nine minutes to do so was uh, absolutely worth it. I don't think anyone's going to question that. Yeah, I think what Havoc Pineapple was saying, portals are the finest game mechanics very consistently. I think that meant very consistent um, in, a, in sort of like a rhetorical sense. And, you know, I, I agree. Like, I, I think that being able to being able to select where I want to go and uh, being able to have the value of being like, you know what? I don't feel like doing this or I don't feel like going to, I, I don't feel like doing this level or it's curse the blind, yada, yada, yada. That's a very powerful amount of player choice value that, that allows you to make the best decision, the best situational decision to keep you safe. Temperance machine, cool card and a reverse hero font. Gave us not one, but two holy mantles. That little Chad can hook us up if he wants to. Man, man, we're just getting, it's just, it's just, a, we're, 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 we're just mayor of value town right now. This is, this is insane. Double soul hearts here. Okay. we got so many keys. Another soul heart. We don't even need those keys over there. We're looking for the item room in the shop, and uh, you know what? This is a run where the full clears are not bothering me at all. I mean, we're wasting charges on uh, on red stew, but I, you know what? I'm I'm cool with that. You know why? Because I'm having fun on this run. Like I have fun playing Isaac, regardless. But there's different levels of fun, obviously, that are experienced on this channel, which a lot of people are fully aware of. Thank you, Boney. Um, but this run in particular is really, really, really enjoyable. Like the D12, there's just there's something about the D12 that just puts me in a good mood. It's because I know that if you, the more time that you invest in, oh my goodness, the more time that you invest on putting in putting into the D12, the more you're going to get out of it. The more times that you go back and reroll and reroll and reroll rooms, the more you're going to get out of it. And for only three charges, man, like that's it's it's almost criminal how many how much value you you steal from the game, basically. It's just a lot of fun. It, like, it's just a... I, I think that some people may think I'm over... I'm overstating this or exaggerating it, but, like, legit, the D12 is one of the most fun items that you can get. And I'll tell you why. I, I, other than, like, the million other reasons why I've already given to you in this and other past episodes, the main reason why I like the D12, and it's kind of spiteful, but it's very on point for me, the main reason why I love the D12 is because you get to use the game against itself. Mic drop. Boom. No one's ever thought about that comparison before. Right? You get to use the game against itself. Like, think about all those crappy rooms that they that they spawn. Like, really, really bad, like, layouts and bomb rocks and cheap spike rocks and all this stuff and red poop. Think about all that stuff that the game does to you. Now is now is when you can take it back. Now is when you can exact your revenge on the game. And in doing so, you're making yourself even stronger, and the game doesn't want you to do that. So my reasoning may be a little insidious as to why I have so much fun with the D12, but that's one of the one of the main things that I love about it is just that you really truly get to say, you know what, game. Take this. How about this? How about that? Uh, I am going to use the Bible in here just so we can fly over the spikes because clearly I'm not doing a good job at dodging them. Uh, we'll do that. Get ourselves much needed flying and a movement speed upgrade. And we'll head on to do, 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 do zone. Pretty 
curse the unknown now we have permanent flying so we can go into first rooms for a half price no matter what obviously getting the compass was also very nice it was very bueno and no it wasn't lost on me that we got cursed the lost I can't even see that guy up there. More money equals more stats. Oh, man. And then rock here. We did not. We did not actually hit with our uh, arrow. What is going on here? I think this room are just exploding. Tinted rocks. I mean, this is another. I, I should probably actually leave these fires. Um, this is another room where you know we, if we invest into it, we can come back, get more stuff for it. Definitely down. And then, and then, and then. Get one more charge here. We're going to be able to re-roll that room again. And I think that's going to be our target re-roll uh, for this entire level, really. We've already gotten two soul arts out of there, although we did take a hit. Yeah, there we go. There's another tinted rock right there. Kind of mad I didn't destroy the pink fire, but what can you do? Put one glance over here for more soul hearts. There's a penny there, which I don't really care about. Okay even destroy the holy poop a free mr dolly well technically cost us two keys but i think that that's a dang good trade right there two keys for mr dolly the all around just i mean I'm, I'm having fun i'm having fun this run might be running a little slow for people but my God, do I love the D12. Going here while our kidney stone buff is still going on. No, 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 no. Uh, we're looking at, we're looking to maximize value here off of, uh, off of the shops. With, uh, I, was, I thought I was, I was hoping it was going to be more rocks. We're looking to maximize the value of our shops with the, uh, the silver dollar. My God. I got Good bombs are nice. Um, <clears throat> can use the D12 in here. I know we could. I know we have that other room, but kind of just like we're just kind of riffing at this point and uh, trying to get as much as much as much value as we can out of Keeper Sack. So that you know what we got a point zero three. 0 0.03 movement speed upgrade. That's fine. That's better than not having a 0 0.03 movement speed upgrade. Have a full card, so we'll be able to get out of here no problem. Hell, why not? See what kind of havoc we can we can make in this room. Absolutely gated. Uh, no double deal, unfortunately. I'll take the negative. The fool. <clears throat> and then. What was this card that we had down here? Magician card. Is there anything else we could buy in the store? Art. Basically not. Uh. And you know what? No left hand, I will take you. You know why? Because we're we're getting we're getting crazy now. We're not gonna do a victory lap. So how about a first lap, old beastie? Oh, he's go he's he's losing it now. And yes, I yes. Yes, you can you can stop you can stop yelling at me. You can you can stop laughing at poor old Invicta. Yes, I know. After talking about the value of the Bible, 
he went all the way to mom and then didn't use the Bible against mom to kill her. <laughs> I know. I it, It's okay. It's Wednesday. Uh, it's, it's the midweek, you know? I'm not quite in mid-season form yet. Or maybe I am in mid-season form. I don't know. That's, that's pretty, pretty standard for me. <coughs> I had absolutely no clue what our HP was. I have so much confidence. Wow, this is a horrible store. Uh, I have so much confidence in, in our damage right now that like, I didn't even care. We're fighting a first lap beastie. Some people really have been enjoying the challenge that makes up these first lap runs. And, you know, it's not that much different from a non-first lap, of like a victory lap run. The episodes might be a little bit shorter, but I think there's a little bit more excitement both baked into it. Uh, try to grab those, you jerks. They found more. So many buttons. No idea what these buttons are going to do. Apparently spawn gurglings and troll bombs. Now, the reason why I didn't take those item, any of the item pedestal room, any of the item pedestals in the item room is because there was no reason to. Um, they're all blind. Like, we had a blind item in there. We can literally, we literally get to see what the blind item is here. And it was not very good. We don't need the Bible anymore. So I'm going to go with spilled milk just because when we do get hit eventually against Dogma and Beastie, it, the tears up is going to be real nice. We want to see. We want to see more red chest. Maybe get a devil deal. Maybe get a guppy item. Yeah. Guppy item. That's our second guppy item. How, like, how perfect would that be on a run where we've, where we have made our own value? How perfect would that be for us just to get a non-devil deal guppy? Actually, I take that back. We did, we did take guppy's paw from a devil deal. He's done procking at the wrong time here. The way wrong time. You know what? Just use the magician. I'll just use the fool card. Wrong time to proc there, kidney stone. Uh, we get the reverse hero font. Sure. Not sure what hit me the second time there. Ooh. I will take the chariot card as well, just because it's going to give us another huge tears up against Beastie. Or Dogma, I could use it against either one, I guess. Not that we're probably going to need it. I mean, there were many different engines that we that we had for our vehicle of success on this run. Some of it was some of it was self-made, some of it was not. And we're just gonna get Guppy, just because hell, why not? And uh, I will take Maw of the Void as well. And sure, we'll take we'll take Horror Babylon. We're taking we're taking everything. We're taking everything. Good Lord, man. We even got the Leviathan transformation, which is just is just incredible. Got lots of bombs that we can use against Beastie too. I'd like to get a little bit more HP where the D12 is going to hopefully theoretically help us out. Mm, let's, look for, let's look for a couple more rocks here. Yeah, we can also clear because of the uh, because of the left hand. Loaded in the wrong direction. Empress car, Empress car. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I'll take both of those over over what we just had. Contract from below, looking real strong right now. Go back. This had the most rocks in the level, I think. So, but that is going to lead to today's question of the day. And as you could probably guess, 
What is your take on the D12? Do you enjoy the item just as much as I do? Do you think that I'm, do you think I'm playing up how good it actually is? Do you not think it's good for whatever reason? Post them in the comments down below, everybody. Remember the top three most, most upvoted comments do get read on next week's episode where we talk about and discuss what was discussed in the comments. Very neat little system that we've got. Drop a bomb here for this blue fire. And remember, we don't have Polaroid invincibility, nor do we have the negative here. So what we what it's WYSIWYG. What what we see is what we got. That's not what WYSIWYG stands for, but it's close. Oh baby, here's a this is a D, this, this room was made for the D12, or the D12 was made for this room, depending on how you look at it. And we got lots of orange fires. No tinted rocks. Yep. All right, so we're going to go for a reroll because that was bad. Damage is just sick, nasty, crazy. Wouldn't mind an HP upgrade here. We could have, we could also D12 this room, but I don't think that that's wise just because we, we do want to play the judgment. Because like money is no good anymore. Like we don't care about money anymore. There's no shops. There's no anything. We don't have, uh, you know, we don't have the keeper shop. So keeper sack did his did his job very well. The reroll. I would pretty much only use on this pedestal that we're gonna get here. Look, we're getting an item pedestal. Judgment. How long it takes us to get there is up to you, but this is happening. Do that. Uh, let's not re-roll the devil card. I'm going to drop everything in here. Papa fly. That's just super, super awesome. It's really great. Really, really great. Uh, still need a full charge to re-roll the big room. Here it is. Okay. E12 one more time. Here we go. Yep. Petrified poop may have been slightly better because we, we are rolling into a lot of poop. Oh, all right. Well, it, an attempt was made, D12. We got one more floor left. It's not going to give us two uh, first floor basements. It's just going to give us ba one, one basement one, basically. Uh, yeah. I don't think this has a secret room. It does not. Not a bad room to use the D12 in. Contract from below hooking us up a little bit. We need to go back in that big room and also go get our, uh, yeah. Use it now. Just rip it now. Wow, we got a crawl space here not open because the room is not done yet. I don't know where... Where is it? Where is it? What's going on? The crawl space is not opening. Oh, it's just because we're in the crawl space. That's right. Never mind. I was very confused for a second there. Yeah, what is your take on the D12? Do you like it? Do you hate it? And do you think I'm overstating its value? Going back to go get that devil card real quick just so we can get our little bit of extra damage against the old beastie. I don't know why I'm even bothering with those. No tinted rocks to be seen. That is okay. This room, that room actually kind of really disappoints me. E12, I'm not going to lie. Here we go. All right, so we're going to get three soul hearts here out of the empty bed. First card literally doesn't matter. First floor dogma, first floor beastie. First run beastie, I should say. Come on. 
mom item. We've already got the mom transformation. <coughs> and let's just have some fun and destroy Dogma here. We got Guppy basically with only one Devil Deal. <laughs> Devil Deal item anyway that we got from him. I love the good old fashioned Dogma double tap. Harkens me back to a few years ago when, you know, it, it did take this long to get Dogma unlocks. You gotta be careful about, against them. Down he goes. Some annoying damage there, but nothing really crazy. And we're gonna end this one with destroying Beastie, hopefully. There's the Whore Babylon kicking in. I'm gonna use the Devil card, use the Empress card again. And we are on our way. If you're wondering why we're not firing as fast as we were against Dogma, it's because we don't have the spilt milk unlocked yet. For us, and man, Kidney Stone Deadeye just made a joke out of famine. Going in there with uh, Maw the Boy just so we can get some guppy flies out there. Oh my god, a Thame just. <laughs> a Thame just absolutely wrecked. Ultra Pestilence. War is not going to fare much better. He's got he's got the least amount of hit points out of all of them. Though he is the most annoying, I will say. Yeah, our damage is just is just too strong. What a run, man! What a run! So if you enjoyed this run, everybody, if you really had fun as much as I did, hopefully you played the seed as well. Definitely click that like button. I don't think there's any way that this video is not hitting 3K. At least, I mean, like, we had so much fun. Hopefully, you're playing along with the seed. First floor, first lap beastie. I don't know why I keep saying floor. First lap beastie. That first floor was amazing, I will say, of course. And, man, let me know if you did play the seed down below as well. But, of course, one final time, the question of the day, what is your take on the D12? Hopefully, you enjoy it as much as I do. Or if you don't, if you have some criticisms against the item, please let me know. Again, it's all up for discussion down in the comment section below. And thank you, everybody, who does take part in those daily discussions. Again, helping out with the engagement is so huge here on YouTube, especially with the way the algorithm works now. And, uh, I, you know, I know the mosh pit takes care of me, and uh, I can't thank you enough for it. So have a great start to your Wednesday, everyone. What a run. So much fun. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Marcus, Kristen Johnson, and Michael McMaster. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com. Flash Invicta.